Hi guys, this is Robert Brand from WP Central. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of the the new sort of 3D element to Nokia Maps 3.0. Um, I've already pinned a uh, a building that I know to be 3D onto the start screen, so we can just go straight to that. So there we go. I'm just going to click into Nokia Maps now. Okay, I mean the pin itself is a place called Centre Point, right in the centre of London there. It's a, an old 60s uh, tower block. It's quite a famous landmark. Um, as you can see with the Nokia maps, you've got quite a bit of information in there anyway. Uh, some of it's coming from Lonely Planet. Um, so we want to go straight to the building. So if we just click on that there. Okay, and if we just zoom into that there if you can see that we can see the center point tower there and we can see quite clearly that's a, a 3d building what's interesting to know about this is is quite how smooth the the 3d um, updating of that is it's incredibly smooth and we can zoom a bit further in there And the reason that's interesting, I mean, obviously for you know just traditional straight-up mapping, uh, 3D isn't too much of a concern. But it will be very interesting to see how well that 3D is going to be leveraged with uh, another very common uh, mapping application, which is Drive. Um, so here's another building here, quite sort of easily see that's 3D. And as you can see, as we sort of scroll across there, which you get some sense of the actual look of the building from different sides so that was just a quick look at uh, the 3d in uh, Nokia Maps 3.0 I'm sure there's going to be plenty of other updates coming um, but for now it's uh, it's looking pretty good looking pretty smooth okay